I think it's also, um, it's, it's very hard to change people's opinion about Hillary Clinton in general. She's been in the public eye uh, for 20 plus years. Right. There's a lot of like background there that voters have. So I think to move the needle is hard. And also these, these stories about the foundations are complicated. Uh, they're kind of arcane, tax policy, disclosure policies. Um, so it's, it's not really a surprise to me that it hasn't had a huge impact yet. Yeah. It may not have a huge impact. N nobody here is suggesting it is going to have a huge impact. Uh, I did, though, pull up, though, this was from uh, a month or so after Chris Christie's Bridgegate uh, scandal broke. And these were the headlines that we were seeing all the time that we were reporting here, that a month or two after it even happened, uh, that Chris Christie's uh, uh, New Jersey popularity remained high despite the Bridgegate scandal. That was two months in, uh, three months in. But it was the constant... Yeah, you know, on and on and on the the constant hammering and the constant questions, Willie, that eventually just was was too much for him to handle. And that's something again that I said last hour. That's something the Clintons need to worry about. They need to get out in front of this stuff. They need to knock it down, or they could follow what happened with Chris Christie. But in Hillary's case, we won't learn if it's we'll had never. an impact until there's a general election. Because but we'll never learn if she's telling. I mean, there's just. There's no way to prove or disprove any of these questions. Well, it may it may impact some independents, right? I mean, these, um, if you look at these numbers, Democrats are have increased their support of Hillary Clinton since this came out because they view these criticisms and these scandals as attacks on her, and they need to right. defend her. So she's up nine percent overall in favorability. But as you pointed out in our last hour, once you get to a general election, we'll learn more about whether these have been corrosive over the course of a couple of years. We will. We'll also, Mike, though, they'll certainly be looking at the polls. They saw the poll yesterday that said only twenty-five percent of Americans trusted her, uh, but they're looking at the polls today, and they seem a little more positive. If they all start breaking south, they know they'll have to make some moves. Well, a couple of things. The, the Chris Christie thing that you just showed, uh, I think there's a wide gulf between the Chris Christie poll numbers after the bridge thing and Hillary Clinton's poll numbers today. I mean, everybody in this country drives a car. They yeah. know what traffic jams are. Very few people in this country raise hundreds of millions of dollars yeah, exactly. or get paid for speeches. You cannot explain. I challenge you to explain in one or two minutes <clears throat> to, you know, anyone what is going on here with the Clintons and all this foundation money. Well, and well, the third yeah. thing is... Well, hold on. On that point, though, we got we got to wait and see what the New York Times, the Washington Post, Wall Street Journal, also, you know, USA Today, whatever, what investigation bring forward because if you, if you can get to a point where there are four or five instances where country a came to the Clintons gave them money and then you know out the other side of the True. sauces machine there was a change in policy and, and you can say it happened five times and these are the five countries and this is all the That's millions dynamite. of dollars that exchanged if there is a pattern then that can be explained but we're at the very beginning of this process people are just the books just released yesterday people are going to be investigating and, it and they'll see where the money and we are also we are also far removed from her being in a setting where she is forced to respond to questions from from right. Nick or Jeremy or any member of the media in in response to this yeah I yeah. guess to my point before I was just saying I wish she had not scrubbed the server because that if if nothing went wrong it, it she's lost the opportunity to be completely transparent well obviously I mean she didn't scrub right. the server by accident I do want to follow up really quickly with what Jeremy